Hello all, my name is Chandan HB. I am from Center for Nanoscience and Engineering, Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. I am here to talk about thin films. So today we are going to know what is thin films, what are the classifications of thin films, and what are the working principles behind depositing a thin film, and we will know some of the applications of it. Thin films is a layer of material ranging from a few nanometers to several micrometers in thickness. So this is the classification of thin films. We have chemical vapor deposition, physical vapor deposition and vapor phase epitaxy. Today we will concentrate more on physical vapor deposition. We do have uh, these many tools in thin films bay at uh, nano fabrication center. We have a sputter coater uh, meant for metal deposition, sputter coater deposition for dielectrics and uh, ALD for dielectrics. Also we have two e-beam operators where we can deposit metals and metal and metal dielectrics. So we will move on to introduction of sputtering. Sputtering is a process of physical vapor deposition. In physical vapor deposition techniques we mainly have a chamber. Chamber has to be evacuated by using rotary pump followed by a diffusion pump, turbo molecular pump or a cryo pump. So in this condition we have less amount of particles or less number of particles. Also during this stage we will be introducing two different electrodes which is made as positive and negative. And in negative potential, we house a target material and in positive potential, we house a substrate. Also, we purge in a gas during this moment and we provide a high potential difference across these two electrodes which will cause uh, ionization in our working gas. Here our working gas is argon. Argon atoms will dissociate into ions and ions, a cation of an argon will hit a target material, the surface of the target material and with this accelerated uh, ions, there are few atoms which are knocked off from the surface of the target, thereby depositing onto a substrate as a thin film. We will now look into one of our tools in NNFC. So we do have a chamber which is which can uh, deposit a thin film. We have dedicated these chambers for metal deposition and dielectric deposition. Here is a overview or a chamber view of a sputter tool. Here we can see uh, three different magnetrons and shutters on top of it. And these are all the holders where we can mount our uh, samples onto it and then there is a heater facility which can go up to 100 degrees Celsius. Now we will talk about our tool specifications. Our tool can achieve an ultimate vacuum of 1e-7 and our substrate can be heated up to 600 degrees Celsius with the help of localized substrate heater. Chamber heating can be up to 100 degrees Celsius and the power source that we are using here is DC, pulse DC and RF source. We can also bias our substrates with RF and DC. The gases that we are going to use are argon, nitrogen for nitrate deposition, oxygen for oxygen deposition. Let us move on to tool capabilities. Here as I earlier told we have a possibility of loading three different targets simultaneously and get a deposition on four different holders. So that is which you can do a combination deposition of three different materials onto a four different holders. These targets are of 3 inch diameter and 6 mm in thickness. The coating uniformity in stationary mode of deposition is 1.5 inch and the uniformity in rotation mode will give you plus or minus 15 percentage on a 4 inch substrate. And also we have a substrate heating which is capable to go up to 600 degrees Celsius. 
here are the available materials that we are going to deposit in our sputter tools naming few in metals gold platinum palladium silver in nitrates silicon nitrate aluminum nitrate titanium nitrate tantalum nitrate in oxides silicon oxide zinc oxide aluminum oxide titanium oxide tantalum oxide here is a one more chamber which is meant for sputtering there is a different kind of setup here where wherein we have three different targets which is of 2 inch in dia and one magnetron which is of 3 inch in dia as you can see these are all the magnetrons these four are the magnetrons and this is where we actually house our substrate and this is a substrate heater moving on to tool specifications moving on to tool specification ultimate vacuum that this tool can achieve is 4e minus 8 and the substrate heating capability is up to 800 degrees celsius the, here also we use a power source dc and rf and we can also bias with dc and rf the gases here we are going to use is argon and nitrogen so here mainly we are uh, we should concentrate more on the coating uniformity when compared to the uh, the previously uh, told uniformity it is slightly better and the tool is meant to do in rotation mode of deposition and the uniform uniformity in rotation mode is plus or minus 5 percentage also it has 1000 position gate valve and your substrate heating can be from room temperatures to 800 degree celsius available materials in this tool are aluminum niobium tantalum and in nitrates niobium titanium nitride let us move on to the device capability so here with help of these many tools we can generate gyroscope m mim capacitors mos caps gas sensor pressure sensor and many now let us move on to the introduction to e beam operation as i told earlier we use a chamber which is evacuated with the help of rotary pump and thermomolecular pump and we achieve a vacuum of e power minus 7 or minus 6 also here we house a filament on which we provide a high potential difference and there will be a thermionic emission and there will be a generation of e beam high energy electrons and these high energy electrons are steered via electromagnetic fields to strike the source and evaporize it this is a tool at nnfc sense so as i already told so we have two different guns this is gun one gun two and four different holders can be housed and we have a shutter which is right on top of the source and here it is a ion etching or ion assisted deposition tool so let us come to the tool specifications the ultimate vacuum of this tool is 5 minus 7 tor and we can do ion etching and ion assisted deposition in this and the substrate heating can be up to 300 degrees celsius the power source what we are using here is 5 kilowatt e beam sources we have two e beam sources and we can also do reactive uh, deposition with the help of oxygen intake here the co evaporation is possible moving on to tool capabilities as i earlier told we have two guns and one ion gun and we can house 15 cc pocket of six in one gun and 25 cc pockets of four in another gun and we can house 6 inch diameter cavifer we have two guns and one ion gun and we can also house four different wafers onto a 6 inch substrate holder and our deposition rate can be controlled from 1 angstrom per second to 199 angstrom per second we can also have a programmable sieve controller 
and we can do a deposition in either in stationary mode or rotationary mode. Let us move on to one more e-beam operator in NNFC. So this is the chamber overview. So here we have the same set of setup, ion source and ion e-beam gun. And this is a source shutter and uh, here is a substrate holder and this is a substrate shutter. Moving on to tool specifications, the ultimate vacuum that this tool can achieve is 1U-7 millibar and we can also do ion edge and ion assisted deposition. Substrate heating can be up to 300 degrees Celsius and the power source that we are using is 10 kilowatt. E-beam source we have only one gun as I earlier showed, this, there is only one gun here. And we can do a reactive uh, deposition and we can use argon for ion edge assisted uh, ion edge deposition and ion assi assisted deposition and we can also use reactive gases to achieve some oxides and here the gases that we use are oxygen and argon so coming to tool capabilities we have one gun and one ion gun and six pockets of 20 cc and one 6 inch diameter substrate holder and the deposition rate can be controlled from 0.1 nanometer per second to few angstroms. Also we have a programmable sweep controller and deposition mode should always be in rotation. So let us have a comparison between sputtering and e-beam operation. So in sputtering tool we have high energy items and in evaporation we have a low energy atoms the addition coming to addition sputtering gives us the better addition by impingement of the deposition compared to even operation the sputter deposition pressure ranges are in the orders of e minus 3 to e minus 2 evaporation deposition pressure ranges from e minus 6 or e minus 7 so as we can see E minus C and E minus 6 are two different ranges of pressure whereas low vacuum path which will give us uh, give rise to a low vacuum path and a high vacuum path. Sputtering gives us a better conformal, conformal coatings than e beam operation. The uniformity of operation is more in sputtering process for all the setup that we have in, in NFC. Along with other PVD systems at Thin Films Bay, we do have an ALD system. ALD means Atomic Layer Deposition. Using this tool, we can deposit alumina and titania films. First, maximum thickness is 50 nanometer and minimum thickness is of 5 nanometer. Coming to our tool capabilities, we can vary the substrate temperature from 25 degrees to 500 degrees Celsius. We are having two main precursors that is TMA and TTIP, trimethyl aluminium as well as titanium isopropoxide. Two oxygen sources, one is water precursor and another one is ozone. Control system is mainly the PLC control system. So, Come to standard recipes or process capability. We are having three standard recipes. We can deposit alumina or AL203 film at 250 degree using trimethyl aluminium and water as a precursor. We can also deposit alumina quite lower temperature that is using trimethyl aluminium and ozone as a second precursor. Coming to a titania film, we are using titanium isopropoxide as a first precursor and water as a second precursor. For this actually the temperature of the process temperature is 250 to a principle of ALD. ALD, uh, the atomic layer deposition, it's a subset of chemical wafer deposition. The only difference is here like after we will send the precursor one by one. For example, as you see in the slide, it's a typical ALD process. Actually, suppose we are depositing aluminum oxide. 
using trimethyl aluminum and water as a precursor as a first step we are going to send a send the precursor a that is tma inside the chamber for a certain amount of time that will be called as a dose then followed by a purge of nitrogen to remove all the extra tma present inside the chamber the third step is to send out the second precursor in the ald chamber that will react with the tma already that has happened inside the uh, inside the chamber results in the formation of aluminum oxide finally purging the chamber for any excess of water molecules with a nitrogen or any inert gas purge or air gun so we don't need any high vacuum technology for this one only the rough pressure is the working pressure for this one so applications of ald ald films are highly conformal and we can get a very good uniformity pin hole free films from ald this will be uh, these films will have reduced leakage current and helps in faster switching processes and dram process and all they are all very good high quality films that's all about ald